I think when, you, when you've been on a journey as a footballer, you take something from all managers that you've worked for. You know, some of those messages are good, some are not so good, but you've got to adapt them to your own philosophy as a player and, and basically psychology as, as a person as well. Um, I always try to do a session that I would enjoy being part of, if, if that's possible. You know, I know as a player, players hate standing round too much. They want to get on with the action. I was the same as a player. Um, but it's got to be educational, it's got to be functional and, it, and probably once you get into a season's flow, at the end of that you've got to have something to aim for, whether it be the game, the one you've just come out of or the one you're going into. But I've been really fortunate that I've worked for I think five England managers, so that tells you the, the standard of manager both at, and at club level as well, working for the likes of Brian Clough, uh, Kenny DeGleish, individuals like that, Kevin Keegan, um, but all of them have in some way, shape or form, influence probably what sits in front of you today in regard to, and uh, I know you've been talking to David Moyes, um, you know, and David really educated, and he probably opened my eyes in many ways. To actually work with a new voice is, is the best education you can possibly have. It really is to watch a, uh, probably a, a manager like David with his experience. Uh, I think every time you go and listen or work alongside an individual, if you go with your ears and your eyes open, you'll always learn something.